Hello, I am Fairy Goddess Mother and this is my first official video. Um, I wasn't planning on going live or submitting any of my videos yet. However, I have channeled something that is definitely going to affect the country as a whole and I feel compelled to share. I did consult my guides and my tarot cards just to clarify um, what I was picking up and it is very specific and it is right in line with what I was channeling. Um, now I am, I'm in my bathing suit <laughs> in my little kimono and my hair is still wrapped up so excuse my appearance but okay so I'm just going to give it to you straight and leave it at that. I have been channeling that those who are not spiritually oh, enlightened or awakened or not as much as others are going to they're going to there's going to be a mass awakening due to an event that's going to take place it's going to be very obvious so what I'm channeling is that um, they're called these HARP machines, H-A-R-P. They are weather control machines that the government has manufactured. A lot of people think it's a hoax, but it's not. It's been spoken about for years. Nostradamus actually predicted it in the 1500s that these machines would be created that the government would be able to control and manipulate the weather well what i'm channeling is that they are going to i don't know if it's going to be on purpose or nothing's an accident either way there's going to be a situation to where one of the machines are, is going to be activated when it's not meant to be activated and it's going to cause snow in the state of Florida where it hardly ever snows um, hasn't snowed in Florida in 42 years there's been some flurries in 2017 but hardly ever snows in Florida it's gonna snow in Florida it's gonna happen in five to seven days from now today is March 31st so by April 6th it's going to snow. Um, it's not going to be able to be ignored. The government, of course, is going to try to explain it as a, you know, phenomenon or what have you. But there's going to be other things that are going to be very apparent that it's going to bring enlightenment to the consciousness, the collective consciousness to society as a whole is going to remove that veil that usually is there when it comes to 3D and 4D reality that most people don't have the capacity to see beyond. There are going to be some people who are going to hold tight to those illusions, but a majority of the people who are not already aware of these things are going to experience a spiritual enlightenment. It's going to bring a lot of questions to the surface. It's going to be traumatic for some people. It is going to be very enlightening for people because they're going to connect the dots. They're finally going to put two and two together and see that there are no accidents, there are no coincidences, and things don't just happen. It doesn't just snow in a state like Florida for no reason. And um, it is going to cause a transformation. This is the outcome. This is uh, the peace card, Archangel uh, Azrael, which is also the death card, which also represents transformation. When something dies, something new is, is reborn. It's a rebirthing. It's a spiritual rebirth. And it is going to allow people to see the bigger picture. They're going to finally be able to see beyond the veil because the veil is very, very, very thin right now because humanity has been awakening so that we can all shift into 5D consciousness collectively. So the last few, or not even few, but the last majority of people that are still sleeping sleeping 
are need to be awakened and it needs to be something major to be able to affect a lot of people at once because you know the time is coming to where this shift is going to happen and we need everyone to be on the same accord so that Gaia Mother Earth can shift into 5D. So um, maybe some of you that doesn't really understand all the terms that I'm using, but you can always look it up. Uh, us in the spiritual community are aware of this shift. It's been called the event. It's, um, you know, before we were all in third dimension consciousness. Now we are, most people as a collective have been, well, no, as a collective, we're all currently on fourth dimension consciousness. However, we still live in the third dimension, but consciously we're in the fourth dimension. However, there are some of us who are in fifth, sixth and beyond consciousness, but as a whole, the entire earth is moving into 5D, into fifth dimension consciousness. So a mass spiritual awakening has to happen for this to take place. Because if the mind of the inhabitants of Earth aren't aware and can't tap into that fifth dimension consciousness, then Mother Earth, Gaia cannot ascend. So we have to collectively ascend so that the whole planet can ascend together. So it's a really brief message. Um, oh, also, President Trump is going to actually address it because it's causing so much mass hysteria. And he's going to try to explain it away as, you know, some type of phenomenon. These things have been happening. There was snow in California and the areas, I think, like a year or two ago that there's never snow. I'm from California. The only place it really snows is up in the mountains, like Big Bear and areas like that. But normally, born and raised in California, had never seen snow until me and my family went to Big Bear on vacation. So. You know, these things have been happening and they aren't accidents and they aren't coincidental. They have been manufactured. These hurricanes, these tsunamis, these earthquakes, these huge hurricanes and monsoons are like killing thousands of people at a time. It's been happening for the last few years. It's not much media coverage on it because if they were to mention it, the media or the government or the news, there would be mass hysteria. People would realize that there's a lot more going on than what is being addressed. So do your research. There's a lot happening with the birds. Birds are not migrating when they're supposed to. They're staying in cold areas, even when they're supposed to migrate where it's warmer. Um, they are swarming in large crowds. They are flying in bigger, um, I don't know if when it's called a school of fish, like for instance with crows, it's called a murder of crows. When it's a large amount of crows that are flying together, um, specifically with crows, I have noticed that they're being very peculiar. They're they're migrating and not migrating. They're they're coming together in areas to where they're supposed to migrate away from in the colder seasons. In the dead of winter, crows were still uh, in North Carolina. I was just mo recently moving, living in North Carolina, and there were crows everywhere when it was cold outside. And they're usually supposed to migrate to the warmer areas like Florida. So I'm. Oh wow, I literally just channeled something. So one of the reasons why the birds have not migrated to those warmer areas is because they know that the snow is coming. Because animals are very tapped in to source. They're very tapped in to God, source, the universe, whatever you call it, I call it source. Um, they're very tapped into that energy. So they are aware of things before we are because you know they're directly connected. So I just channeled that the reason why there was no mass migration like it usually is is because the animals are already aware of what's going to take place because they can sense it. I just got a notification. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep uh, keeping you guys informed any new channels or downloads that I get about this situation. But keep an eye out um, for the weather channel, for the news. They may try to sweep it under the rug at first, but there's gonna to be too many people talking about it and they're gonna have no choice but to address it. Um, hopefully you subscribe to my channel, tune in. I will start doing tarot readings. Um, usually the collective that I tap into is just about clarity as far as spiritual awakening or just whatever your heart's desire is or your deepest um, 
issue or trauma or pain that you aren't able to let go of. I'm very good at honing in on that. I don't necessarily need the cards, but they do help me make sense of what I'm channeling. So again, I'm Fairy Goddess Mother. Um, thank you for coming to my channel and watching my video. If you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, whatever. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. There will be more. Love and light.